welcome thank you for being here we are decorating for Christmas today this is going to be a three-part series I could not decorate everything at once you guys know that I work full-time so it's hard for me to do everything at once today we're gonna to be focusing on the kitchen the dining room and the entryway I, I will bring you the other videos um, in the coming weeks I am posting videos every Sunday right now. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Just hit that subscribe button, activate the bell so YouTube will notify you every time I put a new video. I'm going to be doing a little bit of cleaning as well. I will try to tell you guys where I got my Christmas decor from. Um, I probably won't go over every single thing. So if you guys have any questions on where I got any particular things, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you would change. I really like to interact with you guys in the comments. So I will see you down there. Um, these are things that I have been collecting throughout the years. So these are not things that I bought this year. It's been a few years. I don't know, maybe like 10 years um, I don't, or 8 years. I'm really not sure. But it's been a few years that I've been collecting stuff. And every year I buy a little bit of things and I just add to my collection. It gets really expensive if we try to do everything at once. And I really can't afford that. Um, so I just try to add a little bit each year. And I am really happy with how big my collection has gotten so far um, so i plan on continuing to do that just add a little bit each year but today we're starting here in the dining room i am going to keep it simple i told you guys for halloween i decorated the table and i put a lot of stuff on there and it, it was actually pretty simple but i did put the plates out and it just kind of got on my nerves after a while because we use the table to eat a lot so um it, it was just a constant moving everything and putting everything back so i told you guys for christmas i was going to keep it very simple so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to start with this side table i'm going to be adding um we're well, changing these cups actually the cups that I am adding, I already had. I think I bought them after Christmas last year. These I got at Target last year in the um, dollar section. I don't know if they were $3 or $5 or something like that. Um, another thing that I do like to do with my decor is usually every year after Christmas, I go and buy a couple of things when they are 75% off and I just put them away and use them on the following year. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. These, I know the trees I got from the dollar section before Christmas, but there are a few things that I got after Christmas. Like I said, if you guys have any, any questions on anything in particular, let me know and I will try to remember where I got these things so that I can let you guys know.
So this window here, I always struggle to decorate it. I don't usually have a lot of things on here. Um, but today I decided to add these Christmas trees and I feel like they just fit perfectly. This window leads to my office. So behind this window is where my office is at. And I am, when I'm working, you know, I can see this window and it always bugs me that I don't really have it decorated nice. Um, I almost want to keep these Christmas trees all year long, <laughs> but I can't. Uh, the angel that you guys saw me add there, that is probably my favorite piece of decor. I've had that, I really don't know how long, but I think that is my oldest piece of Christmas decor that I still hold. That one was gifted to me by my mom um, a long time ago. I really don't remember the year. I'm going to have to ask her and see if she remembers. Um, but it's been with me. It's moved with me from one home to the next. And I've always tried to take really good care of it. Um, so thankfully, it, it's not broken. It, it's all in one piece still. And it's been in, in a storage unit. It's been in multiple homes. Um, so I'm really proud to say that I've kept it in one piece um, but it's really special to me so I always try to find a place for it every Christmas um, and now we're moving on just to doing some cleaning I'm not adding a lot of things in the kitchen either I don't like having a lot of clutter in the kitchen and as you can see I already have stuff on the counter stuff that belongs there that stays with me all year long so i'm just adding a few things here and there uh, if you have any questions on any of the pieces that i put in here uh, let me know in the comments and i'll let you know where i got it from and the sink i'm going to be cleaning it just with some dish soap uh, like i try to do every day i try to clean it at least once a day uh, and it's really one of the things that just gets really dirty all the time. I try to clean it every time I do the dishes, um, but at least once a day. And my countertops, I'm cleaning those with the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Cleaner. Guys, this is one of the pieces of Christmas decor that I got last year at the end, or I'm sorry, after Christmas. Um, I don't remember what discount I got, but usually I try to buy things when they're around 75% off. And it lights up. I just have it, it has a little battery pack, so I gotta put batteries in it. Um, but I was just showing you guys that it lights up. It still has a little button from the store. Uh, where you just press it and it's kind of like a demo. So I need to get some batteries, put those in it. Um, and like I said, it lights up. And that was one of the things that I was really excited to put up because I've had it for a whole year, but I didn't get to put it up last year since I bought it after Christmas. Um, and that is a little frustrating when I buy things after Christmas because I can't put them up right away. I gotta wait till the following year. But it's really a money saver. It's really something that I recommend. This thing I got this year at Hobby Lobby. I've never bought one of these bags. It smells so good. I really love that it doesn't really make the whole house smell, but it does make the kitchen um, smell really pretty when you're walking by it. And the pieces themselves are basically a decor. So I decided to put them in this glass base. They didn't all fit, and I really wanted to put all of them out because they smell so good. So I did find another basket and put all the extra pine cones by the coffee bar.
So I got this thing. I'm putting the Christmas village on this table and this is just a piece of fabric that's supposed to look like snow. So I'm thinking of maybe cutting it up and see if I can fit it on all three shelves. If not, at least on the top one. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. Let's see if I can get it to fit. The Christmas Village, I would say, is my kids' favorite part of the decor. They really like turning on the little houses, the lights on the little houses. Um, this set I bought at Costco, I don't remember if it was two to three years ago, but they usually have a Christmas Village set every year. Um, I bought, that's where I bought it. It came with the trees as well. There are a few pieces that I added um, that I bought at Walmart. Um, the year uh, last year and I think the year before I bought a couple pieces at Walmart and I added those to my village the plan is to buy maybe some houses or trees or just something to add to the village each year and I want the village to be growing each year and that's something that I saw my mom do when I was younger she had her Christmas village and she would buy things um, throughout the years and add to them and it just grew into this big thing and I remember just loving it so that's what I, I want my kids to have that to see the village growing and I want them to enjoy that so that's what we're doing here um, most of like I said most of the pieces are, did come in the Costco set if you have questions on any other particular pieces that you see, I can let you know if it's included in the set. Or like I said, the pieces that are not included, I bought at Walmart. Like this last, this piece that you see me putting right here, that one, I bought at Walmart. The rest of the houses came with the set. Um, and I don't remember how much I paid for it, but... It was a set with pretty much all the little houses and it had a lot of pieces. I can't remember how many pieces. I really wish I would have kept the box because it had all the information on there. Um, but anyway, if you check it at Costco, they usually have a, a village every year. It might not be exactly the same, but it's pretty similar.
The following is a hack that I found on TikTok. I really wanted to try it out to see if it worked. And let me tell you guys, it worked. My husband loved it. I loved it. It's basically a mix to make your house smell amazing. <laughs> and it really does smell pretty good. You just mix these ingredients together and boil them. And just let the smell linger throughout the house. It's one cup of cranberries one sliced orange three cinnamon sticks and two teaspoons cloves um, with some water i just added enough water to cover everything and i boiled it i covered it up boiled it then i uncovered it and let it boil a little bit longer then when you turn off the the stove you still just leave it open and the smell is still lingering throughout the house and it just makes everything smell really nice Well, that is it for today guys i hope you liked this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and activate that bell so youtube will notify you every time i put a new video and i will see you guys next week Hey guys, welcome back. We are on part two of Christmas decorating. We are going to be decorating the living room today. I'm going to be doing a little bit of cleaning here. And we're going to put up the Christmas tree and a few other things in here. I hope you enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Activate the bell so YouTube will notify you every time I put a new video. And let's get to it.
This is probably the easiest room to clean in my house because I don't have a lot of things in here. So now that we are done cleaning, we're gonna start decorating. I'm gonna start in, I'm gonna start with the couch. I'm only adding a few cushions. These are cushions that I've had. Um, I don't even remember where I got these. I've had them for a few years and I got them at different places. Um, I will really wanna buy new cushions for Christmas. But they do get a little bit expensive, so I'm going to wait until after Christmas and see if I can find some on sale for the following year. In the meantime, I'm going to add these. I really, I actually, you know what, that small white one, I got that one at Target. I don't know if it was a year ago or a couple years ago. And I want to say the medium-sized one was from there as well, from the dollar section that they have in the front. Um, those were $5 each. The big one, I really don't remember where I got it, but I don't think that I paid a lot for it. It's actually one of those cushions that go outside on the porch, but I've just been using it in here. Um, like I said, I do want to buy some big ones, some really pretty ones in the future, but I think I'm going to wait till after Christmas to see what I can find on clearance um, once it's 60 to 75% off. And that way I don't feel like I spent too much on that. Um, this Christmas tree I got at, I want to say, Michael's. I got it at Michael's a few years back. Um, so I've had it for a long time. And it's been good. I love that it's only a three-piece uh, Christmas tree, so it's easy to put up. It's a little heavy, but it is easy for me to put up myself, and I just have to fluff it, and I really love this Christmas tree. I hope that it lasts um, a lot longer. I think I've had it, I know I've had it for at least five years, I want to say now, um, and it's still in perfect condition. All the lights are still working. It's pretty late. Um, so I hope that it lasts a lot longer. And this was one of those buys that I bought after Christmas one year. And I got a really good discount on it. I told you guys in the last video that I love doing that. That's how I buy most of my decor after Christmas. And I just have to save it for the following year. The only things that I buy at full price are the things that I get at Costco. And that's because I know that they're not going to go on clearance. They're not going to go on sale. So I just suck it up and just buy buy them at full price. <laughs> but other than that, I try to get a discount wherever I can because these things can get pricey. Um, and the, these are all things that I have been buying throughout the years. I also told you guys that in the last video, I... Don't go out and buy everything at once. It gets really expensive. So I have been buying things throughout the years and just adding to my collection. And I plan to continue to do that. Um, I don't think, I don't know that I'll be buying any big things anymore. I might be adding little things. I don't know. It just depends on when I go to the store and see what's on sale and see what my family likes. Uh, we all kind of go and choose things that we like for the following year. Um, there are a couple things that I'm adding here that we bought after Christmas last year. So I'll let you guys know what that is at the end of the video because I'm adding that towards the end. Um, but I am really still love my Christmas tree. And, you know, these make a mess. So you'll see me vacuuming throughout the video over and over again. Because when you put up the Christmas tree, it really does make a mess. And I'm just trying to make sure it stays all clean before I move on to the next step.
so I'm a little bummed out right now. This thing right here, these little angels, they are supposed to be hooked to the star up there, but there's like a wire piece that goes out and then the angels go on it and they travel around the tree. Well, I'm missing that wire piece and I know it was in here. So I think it must have slipped out of the box maybe because it's not in there. I'm gonna have to search for it, but in the meantime, I guess I'm gonna have to leave the star as is. It does look pretty like that, but I really, really like how these things, how the little angels just kind of travel around the tree. Um, so I'm gonna search for that. Hopefully I find it by the end of this video. If not, hopefully I find it in the future. Today I have a little helper. Luna's gonna be helping me decorate the tree. In reality, my kids always help me decorate the trees. They like putting up the ornaments. And Luna decided she wanted to be in the video. So we are gonna be putting up the ornaments. I don't have a huge collection of ornaments, but we are gonna put up whatever we have in this bag.
going to be adding this table to the living room. I used to have this in the entryway, then I had it in the living room for a little while, and after that it made it way upstairs to the guest room and now it's back I think I'm gonna keep it in here for now um, I'll probably keep it in here for after Christmas as well I wasn't 100% happy with it before but then when I moved it I felt something was missing in here so I think we're gonna keep it in here now uh, but for now we're gonna be adding the nativity set and the stockings <laughs> A little backstory on my nativity set. I bought this at Costco. I got one. Actually, I think it was like a couple years ago. Um, two to three years ago. I don't remember. But I bought one and then I threw away the box. And when I put it away, the following year when I took it out, a couple of the pieces were broken. And I took it back to Costco. They did let me return it. So I ended up getting a new one so this is the new one and last year when i put it in the box i put everything exactly the way that it came so i'm hoping none of the pieces broke so i guess we're gonna we're about to find out see if it my little method worked i did put little numbers on them and um it was a whole system i'll show you guys right now Here's what I did. I put every piece. You can see there's a, a number there. That one has the number five. And then the bag, I put a little number five on there as well. And then each piece also has the same number on the bottom. So that way, when it's time to put it back in the box, I know exactly what needs to go where. And... Hopefully this helped me preserve it for a lot of years and it doesn't break. Okay, now that it's all set up, we're actually going to put baby Jesus away. It is um, tradition. I don't know if it's just in the Mexican culture or if, you know, everybody does this. I'm interested to know. We actually put baby Jesus away. We don't put him out until the 24th at midnight, which, you know, 
his birthday's on May 25th, on Christmas. So we put him out. There's a whole celebration behind it. And you put baby Jesus at midnight in its place. And it just represents when he was born. Um, I, let me know in the comments if this is something that everybody does. Or if it's just uh, Hispanic culture. Or, you know, I'm interested to know what traditions you guys have. So let me know in the comments below. I got these stockings at Hobby Lobby this year. One, I got them, um, I think it was last month. Actually, as soon as they put their Christmas stuff at 50% off, I went and got them because I have been wanting stockings for years now. And I hadn't found any that I truly, truly liked. Um, that I knew that my family was going to like as well. And then when I saw these, I was like, these are perfect. It, fits my theme, the decor in here, and it's also something that we would all like. This train I got at Costco a few years back as well um, and my kids really like it. We all really have fun with it and I feel it adds a little extra to the decor, something fun, um, something traditional, something cute. And it just goes around. I'm going to be putting it around the tree um, and we do play with it. We turn it on almost every day um, and play with it and just watch it go around the tree. It just It gives it makes it feel very Christmassy in here. <laughs> um, but one thing that I don't like about it is that the the pieces of the train, um, I can I have to tape them together because otherwise they won't stay when the train's going around. Sometimes it'll leave um, some of the pieces behind. And so I just put tape around the little connection pieces and on the train not on the train track on the actual train and that helps it um, stay together all throughout the the season the Christmas season um, I usually use electric tape because it's black and then you can't see it you can't see that it's taped together I couldn't find the electric tape today and I didn't want to wait to decorate it um, I didn't want to wait to put it up later so I was like okay I'll use something else so I had some painter's tape, so I'm going to be using that. It is green, so you can see it, but I mean, it, it doesn't look bad. It's still green. It's a Christmas color, so it is what it is. Um, actually, the day after I put this together, I found the electric tape in the garage. <laughs> and I was like, should I put some electric tape over it? But I was like, whatever, it works, um, it looks cute, so I just left it alone. So it is what it is. You can actually barely see it. You can, you probably wouldn't even be able to notice it if I didn't tell you. Um, but I can notice it, and that's why I wanted to put the electric tape. But, um, it doesn't look bad. And it works, like I said. So that, we're gonna go with that for now. <laughs>
I wanted to add a few extra pieces right here by the TV. Actually, I bought a picture frame and that's why um, I'm decorating this because I wanted to put the little picture frame here, but I thought it looked kind of lonely by itself. So I'm going to be adding a few other things. That Christmas tree I bought at um, Target this year in the dollar section. It was $5 and it just doesn't come with batteries, but it's battery operated and it, the lights turn on. It's super cute. The Angel, I think we got it at Hobby Lobby. My husband got it for me um, a couple years ago and I think he got it at Hobby Lobby. The Gold Christmas Tree, I want to say Hobby Lobby as well. I don't remember, but um, it's also a few years old. This one, definitely Hobby Lobby. I bought it this year, um, and I really wanted to put it up. But like I said, it looked kind of lonely by itself. This little Christmas tree my sister got from me last year. I'm not sure where she got it, but it's super cute. She knows I love Christmas decor, so she just got here one day um, last year during Christmas season and bought me that tree, so it's super special, and I wanted to make a special place for it. Um, and now I'm going to move on to mop in here and that's it. I actually added those Santas under the Christmas tree. You can see them. Um, I forgot to record that, but we added those Santas. The Santas are the ones that we bought last year after Christmas that we're going to be adding. Um, and now we're moving on to a recipe that I found on TikTok. Um, I've seen it on YouTube as well. And everybody does it a little bit different. I've, I've seen people put different ingredients in it. It's a pumpkin spice eggnog. Um, and like I said, people do it a little bit differently. So I wanted to do, do it my way, see what I liked, uh, put my spin to it, and share with you guys. So I used the one quart eggnog, um, one cup of pumpkin puree, and half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie spice, and it tasted delicious. And I'm just adding a little bit of cinnamon to it. Um, and we, I don't normally drink eggnog by itself, and so when I saw this, I thought, okay, let's try this. Um, I think I might like this because I love pumpkin, and I did. I did add a little bit more pumpkin flavor than most people do or most people have that I've seen, um, and I think that's what made it just extra yummy for us because we like, we don't necessarily like the eggnog we like the pumpkin flavor um uh, so anyways that's what we did and um just showing you guys how this turned out i really really love how my living room turned out um and most importantly my family loved it so that made me really happy and i also do have a little extra something at the end of the video Look who's back, guys. It's Alice. Alice is back. And she brought a new friend this year, which means Luna gets her own elf this year. This is going to be fun trying to name her. She hasn't figured out what she wants to name her yet. So we are thinking about that, or she is thinking about that. <laughs> but I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And activate that bell so YouTube will notify you every time I post a new video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next week. Hey guys, welcome to Blockmas Day 2. I'm going to be decorating the girls' playroom today. 
We're putting up the last of the Christmas decor. This should be the last section that I'm decorating. I'm doing a couple of DIYs here. This tree I bought at Target last year for about $30. Um, and I thought I would give it a, uh, just a little upgrade. So I'm adding some snow. I'm also going to be painting the ornaments that are going to go on this tree. I bought snow uh, looking snowflake ornaments at Dollar Tree and I'm going to be painting those white and I'm also going to be adding a little bit of glitter just to make it a little more girly. Um, I, we're going for kind of a winter wonderland um, snow theme in the playroom. So that's what we're going to be doing today. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. Activate that bell so YouTube will notify you every time I put a new video. And also, I ask that if you guys are, like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. I will try to tell you where I got things as I go. Um, just like I've told you guys in the past videos, I buy my decor a little bit every time every year. So not everything is from this year, but I'll still try to tell you where I got things. Any questions, any comments, let me know in the comments below. I do like to interact with you guys, so I love reading your comments. Um, anything you guys want to talk about, really, just leave it down there. I'll try to link a few um, things as well in the description box for you guys. We are going to start with the cleaning, and I am also going to try to... Um, I'm going to be decorating as I go. So I'm going to be decorating each or uh, cleaning each section. When I'm done cleaning that section, I'll be putting up the decor in there before moving on to the next section. This nativity set I've had for many years. I'm already missing a lot of the pieces. <laughs> uh, there's been pieces that have broken throughout the years. So I'm putting up what I have um, left. I really don't know where this came from. My mom bought me this. This was my first nativity set that she bought me uh, once I had my own house. She, I don't know where she got it. But anyways, I've had it for a long time. The little trees that I'm adding though, 
those I got at Target this year from the dollar section. They had them in this color, which is kind of an off-white, and they had them in green as well. Um, they were really pretty and just a dollar each. I, they, I thought they were super cute. They did have bigger ones as well. I'm not sure how much those were, um, but the little ones were a dollar. I think they had some for like three dollars that were a little bit bigger as well in the same colors. So my daughter loves to play with her Barbies and she is like her mama. She loves the Christmas decor. So we are going to be adding a few things to the Barbie house as well, making it a little festive. <laughs> So after I snowed the tree, I did let it dry for about 24 hours before bringing it upstairs so that it wouldn't make a mess everywhere. I feel that it turned out great. I added two cans of the snow. Uh, each can is about $1.99 at Walmart. So I added a total of $4 to it and it looks like a completely different tree. I absolutely love it. Um, and then I'm also going to be adding, I'm going to be adding the snowflake ornaments that are painted from Dollar Tree. And also the other ornaments that I'm adding, some of them are, oh, I'm adding this garland as well, which is from Walmart. Um, and the ornaments that I'm adding, some of them I got last year at Walmart. And um, some of the ones that you'll see that have like the little reindeer on them um, or those I got at Hobby Lobby. I think it was a set of like eight of them um, or something like that. 16 of them maybe. I don't remember. But um, those are from Hobby Lobby and the rest of them are from Walmart that I got last year. But Walmart usually has the same stuff every year so you should still be able to find those.
couldn't find a treat skirt that I absolutely loved and that went with the theme. So I ended up getting this throw blanket at Target and I, I am in love with it. I feel that it worked out so much better than the treat skirt would have turned out. Um, so that's some best suggestion that I have for you guys at Throw Blanket. Just, it worked. <laughs> we made it work. And I could reuse that as well. I could use it all year long. It doesn't have to be just for Christmas. It's a plain a white throw blanket and it's really fussy. Um, one thing that I do recommend is that maybe you guys let the tree dry a little bit longer if you're going to do that. Because I don't know if you guys noticed on my pants, I had um, kind of residue from the from the tree. I probably didn't let it dry long enough, but I still it still turned out well. Um, and that was it for today, guys. I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will see you guys on the next video.